Hello X3 Terran Conflict fans, my name is Metal Venom and as some may know me by my real name, Richard. Yes, Richard the Lionheart. No, no, I'm joking. Um, right, it's come to my astonishing amazement that I've rarely actually played this game properly. Um, I make a hell of a lot of videos about it and you know, but I never actually play the game properly, or at least long enough to warrant me saying that I've played it you know, to its full extent, I've got every, uh, and, it's a rusty uh, the hell, I'm, oh, so easily distracted by these beautiful visuals, um, yeah, to, orbital accelerator. to say that I've played the game to the full extent and got everything out of it, I can't really say that because I'm crap at this game, I, honestly, crap, <laughs> you know, I don't really know much, uh, about the trade inside of it. Yeah, I can fight my way out of a, you know, out of any situation, I guess, tr or try to. But when it comes to trading and the en ec the economic side of the, th uh, the game, you know, I'm not too good. So I'm going to learn. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just sit down and bloody play this game as it should be played. I'm not going to, you know, start filming stuff because that's what I normally do. I start playing right this time. I'm going to play it, you know, and five minutes later, I'm in the camera ship and, you know, I'm just pressing that record button baby <laughs> so you know uh, you might think that this game just sucks hundreds of hours out and how the hell am I going to record all that I'm not going to show you every bleeding second of the game you know because obviously that'd be incredibly boring and most importantly uh, incredibly long you know it'd be the longest film in the world so you know I'm going to show you the interesting bits the progression side of it you know the fights and whatnot. So I put in a fresh install of X3 Terran Conflict, uh, patched to 3.1, and I thought, why not? I'll install the extended mod because I haven't actually played this thing, and so far, you know, I've just spawned in this sector as a Argon immigrant in uh, what sector? Am I? Pandora's Gate, and the visuals are just absolutely stunning. Now I'm going to apologise in advance. My microphone does crackle sometimes. Not really sure why it does that. It must be a loose connection. But every now and then it go, you know, just splurt out a load of crap, and it could be highly annoying and rape your ears to crap. So I apologise for that in advance. Uh, what else am I? At? I'll tell you about the machine I'm running this on. This is on a ha ha ha. Oh my god, I'm so crap at doing commentaries. This is on a home-built machine. Uh, it's an i7 950. Um, it's got 12 gigabyte of DDR3 RAM. Has a GTX 560 Ti, and it's on a 64-bit Windows 7. That's the specs I'm running it on. It's actually the computer's only uh, about a month old. I built it last month. Uh, pretty reasonable price, you know, it was under a thousand, uh, under a thousand pound, which is pretty good considering the performance it gives. Anyway, enough of that crap. So we're in Pandora's Gate uh, sector, and obviously, let's have a look at my status. I <laughs> right, okay, I have a hundred credits. Uh, I've been flying for seventeen minutes. I have absolutely nothing. Uh, shots fired, 122. Yeah, I just, you know, I always do. Everyone does that as soon as you spawn. You give a, a few hundred shots off just to, you know, just for the sake of it. The way travelled 38 kilometres. Well, how the hell is that? I, I barely moved. Fair enough. So that's the way you want to be? You want to lie? <laughs> so sectors visited one, jump gates passed one. Yeah, I actually, oh yeah, I did. I remember this is a load of a new game. Ooh. I went through the Pandora's box gate and it just warps you back into this sector so you can't actually go through that. So I've got two options really. I'm in, a, I'm in the uh, elite elite fighter. Uh, not sure what weapons I've got. Let's have a looky. Looky looky. I've got hooky weapons. I've got a particle accelerator times four. And I've got their missiles. Also I've got mosquito and wasp. Mosquito now, missiles. let's load them. Now you might actually laugh at some of the things I do, like I say, I don't really <laughs> know much about this game uh, when it comes to weapons, and I, I know it by visual, but you know, when it comes to names and stuff, I'm like, eh? Whoa, what's that then? So anyway, it's going to be my adventures in X3, and I hope to keep it going, you know, because the thing with me is, uh, if games go on too long, you know, I just go, oh, I just can't be asked anymore, and, you know put a bit of Call of Duty on or something, so I should be alright, 
I'm in the mood. You know, I've been wanting to do this for ages, and I'm damn right gonna do it. So anyway, we are. What have we got in this sector anyway? Let's just get the map up without the sun glaring in our eyes. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, you know, we've got the Valhalla. That's a big old mighty ship. Got Gona Supplies Ith. Two gates, really. Got New Hampshire and the uh, Colins. So, I guess that's a gate. Uh, we've got a gate and a transorbital accelerator. I don't really like the accelerator, so we're going to fly through to New Hampshire and see what the hell's going on in that sector. Now, obviously, I'm not going to put the SATA on quick. I'm not going to bore you with every, you know, the journeys and getting to places. Uh, apart from this video, because, you know, I've got to tell you what the hell I'm planning to do and stuff. And some people might find this incredibly boring. Some people might like it, you know. Let me know. It's always appreciated. And I did not want to cancel that one bit. So the gate is, oh my god, 50 kilometers away. And that's with Sator running. Now this bloody ship is so slow, I really need to get some engine tunes on the go. But with 100 credits, I ain't really going to do much at the moment. So I need to find a way to make some money. Uh, any suggestions would be great. Um, I can't see no, you know, we've got, got a couple of stations in this sector, but no missions coming from them, so Wait. it's usually a way to get a quick buck straight away, isn't it? Um, do a few missions. But none at the moment, so if you can let me know how the hell I'm going to make some money. Uh, obviously, I aim to get a couple of sector traders on the go to keep a, you know, a, a, a regular supply of income on the go. But, you know, with 100 credits, I ain't really going to do much at the moment. I've set up my hotkeys, uh, if I can remember. Oh my god, so many bloody buttons. So what is this? Statistic Center. No, I don't want that. I want the news. There's a BB... Oh, yeah, there we go. The BBS system. Oh, whatever it is. Terrorist Attack Station. With tensions high all over Solara space, a new menace has made its, uh, made its presence known. The group calls itself the Union of Liberation of Aldrin and says that it will not stop until the Terrans go home and leave the Solara system uh, just as they found it. While no one believes that this will happen, the group pulled off its first publicity stunt, Last Tazura, by uh, sabotaging the power generator on the station Terminus. The resulting darkness and stagnant air caused panic among the station's re residents. Until the power was finally restored, the terrorist then appeared on a uh, on a hacked interstellar video broadcast feed and immediately took responsibility for this outrage and threatened if the Terrans did not leave uh, at once, real casualties might uh, well be expected next time. Ooh, tensions rising! It's always good when you're on long journeys like this, and I do not believe I quick Sator, but there you go. I'm just gonna. I'm not sure how long I can make these videos. I think there's about 15 minutes on YouTube. So I'm gonna quickly go through this gate and see what's going on on the other side. At least get a mission or something, you know. Oh, why am I autopiling it? I'm right next to it. That's just damn lazy. Oh, yeah, Sator, please! Jesus. Now sometimes I lose my call and a swear word might fall out of my mouth accidentally and I apologise in advance for that. Terribly sorry for my foul language. Black screen. Oh dear, what's Engine going on here? Red, I'm sick. pilot, this is Terran Border Security. You are not authorised to enter our sectors. Leave immediately. Failure to comply oh will dear. result in lethal force being used against you. You have one minute to reverse course and leave. Fair enough. I'm not going to complain, really, considering you have many... Well, we have three uh, on scanner, three sentinels. Have a look. I'm not even going to bother attacking them, because I don't want to piss off the Terrans. Back we go to Pandora's Gate. I suppose. Well, that was eventful. <laughs> Fair enough. I just got my ass handed to me, and they didn't even fire a shot. Entering system, Pandora's Gate. Yes, thank you. Fair enough. So, oh, that phone is driving me out the wall. Accelerator. I made my phone contact me every time I get an email, and now it just goes off constantly. <laughs> it's rather annoying. I wish I'd never done it. Okay, so it looks like we're going for the orbital accelerator. Uh, I've got what. One that is Colins. Fair enough. So I'm going to stop this recording because that is. 
139 kilometers away. <laughs> Definitely think you fancy sitting through all that. So I'm going to pause it here. Yeah, pause it. Where's the pause button? Okie dokie, so we're right next to this accelerator. And we're going to go see what's on the other side and hopefully I don't bloody get kicked out again. You know, Terrans don't like me. It's like, oh god. What chance do I have? <laughs> Apparently we're going to fly through the gate sideways. I see no red. That's a good sign. Not many ships on scanner so far, just a couple of Gona Rangers. Video enhancement <sighs> goggles. I need them not goggles. Installed. I can at least look to see if there's any capital ships in the distance. So what is this? Looks like a moon. Got a giant moon and a hell of a big asteroid in a way. Let's Sata this baby. Or Seta, whatever you want to call it. Seta? Seta? Seti. <laughs> Okay, well, we've got a scanner. Cerberus. I've got Argon Cerberus. So we've got some Argon in the sector. Asteroid. So, hell of a few uh, capital ships in this system. Let's see, three so far. The music's creepy, by the way. It's like, what is here? <laughs> Mystery and suspense. What is Titan. This? Oh, I've got an Argon Destroyer. Colossus. And a carrier. Cerberus. And an M7 frigate. I think they're M7s. No stations, though. What the hell? There's got to be something else in this sector, surely. It's just barren at the moment. What the hell? What the hell am I supposed to do? Oh! Just want to do, just do some missions or something, get some money. Wasting precious money on my fuel, you know, fuel prices these days. Oh, there's a gate down there. Is that a gate or a station? Every time I want to move, I've got to stop Sator. And a red sun. Very bright. Transorbital accelerator. So where the hell does that go? That goes to what? All right, okay. Fair enough. Oh, yaki so. Akurai. Uh, what a yaki ship! Oh heavens! Well, that looks menacing. Um, is it gonna make me die if I go near it? That's the main question. So now we've got a Yaki Akura on scanner. Not even sure if it's friendly or not. Yaki. Oh shit, and it's got fighter support. Fair enough. Uh, they're not red yet. So Yaki are pirates. I am right in thinking this. Oh, they left me alone. Look, I'm not even gonna. I'm not gonna provoke them. Let's just go and a merry way. Don't provoke the Yaki there. An incredibly powerful pirate nation, I think. If I know my X3. So we're going for here. See what the hell's going on. Nothing in that sector whatsoever. What the hell was the point system. in that? Armstrong. Arm, we're in Armstrong now. Oh, we've got all these sectors. Look, I should have checked the universe map. All these sectors. The thing is, though, what ones do I have to go get to get to any of these? Do I have to go through that um, Colin sector? You know, the one where I got chucked out as soon as I got in. Whoa, what the hell? The sun glaring down on that planet. How the hell does that survive? No wonder it looks like a barren desert wasteland. Temperatures must be phenomenal. Okay. So have we actually got any stations? You know, Jesus. I think I'm going to have to stop this. Off. Stop this in a moment because now I'm exceeding my YouTube limit. Back in a bit. Or back in part two, rather. 